<laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. <sighs> if you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. <sighs> Come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't. No more excuses. <sighs> okay. I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyu at kiosk, then Wanmin restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. <sighs> but here we are. Hmm, perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith? What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? <laughs> You ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians! You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shenha. Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. Can't do that. That's way too violent. This is Lila Harbor. There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know. Laws. <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? So how exactly have you? <sighs> that would be my stomach growling. Hmm. <clears throat> I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, medicinal herbs? to explain. Mm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. This? It seems like
like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other adepti, though? Hmm. Paimon's super curious. 